The bulk bin can be overwhelming. Just try to focus. It's a little like Ikea. You just want to go in, know exactly what you're looking for, or the next thing you know, you could end up with grain sweetened milk chocolate almonds, which was not what you were here to get. So I'm just gonna focus on my grains. Can be a little overwhelming of all of the types, but I do want multiple types because I'm just gonna cook them and put them in the freezer and then I can make a stir fry pretty much any night of the week without waiting for them to cook. Here's what you need to know. Spelt berries, farro, emmer wheat, that's all wheat berries. Brown rice is just white rice that hasn't had the outside polished off so it has a little bit more fiber. I think this is gonna tide me over. The pre-cooking of the grains is like the thing you do ahead of time so that on the weeknight when you come home and you're hungry, you can make fast, fast dinner. Best way to cook grains is actually to cook them like pasta. Big pot of water, and I did salt it like pretty generously. You need to season the grains from the beginning or they're gonna be bland. And then the key is cook them until they're done. The best way to know if they're done is just to actually put them in your mouth and bite them with your teeth and like find out if they're tender or not. Have a sheet tray, especially if you're gonna do a few batches on the weekend. They're gonna cool down a lot faster if you spread them out on a sheet tray. With the next batch, just dump them on the same sheet tray and mix them together if you want to. Let them cool down, pack them into pint containers. In the fridge, I would keep them for three or four days. Freezer, at least a month. I'm gonna start with some vegetable oil. This is a chili darbel. You could use any whole chili. I'm also gonna put in some peanuts. This is just for crunch and a couple of star anise. A really delicious licorice-y flavor. And we're over pretty high heat here. The other key to the stir fry, as far as being quick about it, is that everything is prepped in advance. All right, shrimp. This is gonna go fast. Chopped ginger and garlic. We're cooking these until this shrimp is just barely cooked through because they are gonna go in again after the grains go in, either from the freezer or the fridge, wherever you have your cooked grains. I'm gonna eyeball it like anywhere between two and three cups. So the idea here is not just to heat the grains up, but to actually get a little bit of texture going on them also. So you need a hot pan, you need a little bit of fat. I'm gonna stir these once or twice just to make sure that they're coated in oil to actually encourage the browning. I'm gonna season them with kosher salt so they taste good. Just push these down. Again, it's all about making contact with that very hot cooking surface. Cast iron is great for this. I don't wanna stir these so that they get a nice crust going. If it starts to sound dry, that means it is, and it means that I need a little more oil. Now you can really hear it's like, got a much more active, sassy kind of saute sound going on. I'm not going for color on just the underside, so I'm gonna scrape these up, recirculating everybody. And as soon as at least half of these guys have a nice little crisp edge on them, I'm gonna add the shrimp and whatever liquid is in there back. I just want to toss everything together, maybe evaporate a little of the liquid that came off of the shrimp. So now we have the ginger, the garlic, the shrimp, but I'm gonna season it with some rice vinegar, soy sauce, and just a little sesame oil. Just that little bit of sesame oil is coating all the greens. I feel like we have a little sauce happening in the bottom now. So this is gonna hang out real quick. You guys know how to fry an egg. I will do chili flake instead of pepper because of the chili. Eggs are done. Beautiful grains, beautiful shrimp, perfectly cooked. Yum. This is a mix of mint, cilantro, basil. Some more red chili. All right, Grainiacs, get to it. So who said grains had to be like hippie food, you know what I mean? 